and I was just like, I'm gonna pass out in this classroom. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kira. Um, so today I'm going to be telling you guys a little story time about the time I almost passed out in school. That's pretty crazy. Before this video gets started, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. I'm going to be trying to post more, um, pretty much every Monday or almost every Monday, but stay tuned for June because in June, something exciting is happening and you're going to see it. You're going to want to see it. Um, anyways, let's get into the story. So, grade 7 is when this happened, so I was about 13 probably. Um, and I was in my grade 7 science class, and we were talking about, I think we were more talking about, like, bugs and insects and how they, you know, eat all the things about bugs and insects. But, we were mainly talking about mosquitoes and how mosquitoes stick their nose into your skin and suck your blood like stuff like that okay sorry if that's gross but that's the main thing we were talking about um so in my classroom we had a u shape of desks with chairs obviously and then behind those were like giant bar tables for like you know your science experiments so they had like plugs on them and microscopes and stuff like that um, but my teacher knows that a lot of students don't like standing up, or don't like, don't like sitting down for long periods of time, me. Um, so he would let us go stand behind those, like, bar tables. Um, and we could still write notes because there was a table, but we, we could stand up. Um, so me and my friends, at any chance we could get, we would go behind the back one because there was two here and one here so we'd go behind the back one so and we'd bring our paper so he's talking about mosquitoes and all that me and my friend so I'm in the middle and one friend is here and the other friend's here and we're taking notes listening you know doing fine then he gets very into detail about how mosquitoes stick their noses into our skin, into our veins to get our blood, right? And if you don't know anything about me, I absolutely hate needles. Blood I'm fine with, but needles, hate them. And mosquitoes' noses, I think this is their nose. Maybe it's their mouth, I'm not sure. But whatever that is, disgusting. <laughs> it reminds me of needles, disgusting. I hate it so much. Um, but yeah, so he was talking about that, and you know, normally I'd be like, okay, whatever, like, I'll just take my notes and be a good student. Um, but this time, I guess it just really, really was too much in detail, because I started feeling very lightheaded. Started feeling very, very lightheaded. And the more he talked about it, more lightheaded I'd get, I'd get dizzy, my vision started going blurry at one point. It was not good. So I was like, all right, I need to just take a break. So I stood against the wall because like I said, we were at the back one. So the wall was like probably like two feet behind us. So I stood against the wall to like kind of be like, all right, Kira, like you're okay, calm down. <laughs> just ignore him for a second. Like, why are you getting dizzy? You're fine. Pretty much that. Um, but it wasn't getting better at all. <laughs> so I was like, all right, maybe I should sit down. But I didn't want to go walk all the way around and go back to my desk because that would just bring too much attention. But also if I just magically disappeared behind the back bar thing, that would also look suspicious because like, where did I go? What am I doing? You know? So I didn't want to bring attention to myself. But then again, if I passed out, I would bring attention to myself anyway. So I don't know. But anyways, I was like, all right, I'm just going to try and lean against this thing. And if I fall, maybe I'll fall forward and no one will even notice. So that's what I did. But 
it didn't help okay guys it did not help at all i was still super dizzy super lightheaded the room was spinning <laughs> okay and i was like all right like i i don't know what to do anymore if i fall forward i'll probably smack my head and bring attention to myself but maybe that'll be the best option if I fall to either one of my sides, my friends were there, but it's not 100% that they'll catch me. <laughs> and if I fall backwards, I'm 100% getting a concussion because that wall is a brick wall and that would hurt if I fell back into the wall. Um, so yeah, so I was just like, so like, I was literally leaning against the board like this with my hands in my face and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to pass out in this classroom right now and it's honestly weird that like none of my friends that were right beside me like said anything like they were just like okay this is normal Kira I guess but no they didn't say anything and it was not normal Kira I was like dying and <laughs> no one even knew but anyways so I was like leaning like this and I was like plugging my ears I was like okay stop listening to him and if you stop listening to him maybe you'll like stop being dizzy or I was like, maybe I should just leave and go get water, but I don't know if I can walk because I'm so dizzy, I'd probably fall over. So I'm just like praying that I don't faint and that I can just wait because I knew that class had to be ending soon because we were already in class for like a while, okay? So five minutes go by, I'm still sitting like this with my ears plugged and the bell rings the bell rings so i was literally saved by the bell um except i was still dizzy but he stopped talking about it and then everyone kind of like left to go to their lockers and like you know because it was lunch before recess so everyone left to go to their lockers and i was still there and it took me a few minutes <laughs> to get undizzy but i never passed out and i'm very happy i didn't because I'm a shy kid and I know if I passed out and brought that much attention to me, <laughs> it would not be good. I don't I don't like being the center of attention. Um, that's not for me. So I'm very happy I didn't pass out. I'm very happy the bell saved me. Thank you, bell. <laughs> Even though the bell in that school was really, really not it. But yeah, there's my story time. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!